Hello and welcome to the hopefully short tutorial on how to cut and paste from the animated output of your face cap files seen here uh, onto your advanced skeleton rig with a facial rig. For those that don't know, face cap is a free little app you can run on uh, iPhones version 10 and above. And I think you get a couple of seconds for free. When you buy it, you get unlo pretty unlimited. And it downloads an FBX using the depth camera of your own face with all of its motions and facial expressions, along with the audio file in a waveform. So this is both of them here, but I want to do this from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open up the rigged character. I'm not referencing the rigged character in, don't mind that this here vestigial mental ray nodes that I will clean up, oh, I don't know, one day. So I've got the character rigged here in Advanced Skeleton. The next thing I want to do is to import, I'm sorry, create a reference for the FBX file. And the reason I would like to do it that way is because the FBX file does come in with a whole lot of other information. And bring up the outliner here so you can see it. And it just comes in with all this stuff, all this hidden stuff. And the minute you're done with what you want, you still got it around. It could be very elusive to clean it up. So I just read it in as a reference. You can see that that's verified by the colon here and the name. Um, and then uh, do what you should do with every creepy disembodied head on the floor. Pick it off the floor. Get it up near your character's face. And just give it a once over in playback so you can see if it's animated. Okay, there we are. Wonderful, moving, animated, horrific. And we're gonna cut and paste onto this character here. So I'm going to quickly give this a real massage. Actually, that gets in the way. Oof, where did the eyes go? Good Lord, there we are. All right. So now we have this character all kind of ready to go. And this is the process you want to use to cut and paste from to go into your advanced skeleton controls here. And the one you're going to want to click on is this little white uh, Vitruvian man pose. And it should come up with this uh, biped, sort of biped picker. And people get, are now confused because I certainly was because we don't have connect face cap here. But we do have connect AR kit. And when you select that, you can see that this allows you to connect to face cap. So the next step was one that took me a while to kind of debug. And that is selecting this head rotation node. It's not very explicit about which of these two things that head rotation node belongs to. It is, in, it is not, in fact, the head rotation node of your advanced skeleton character. It is the head rotation node of the FBX. So what I'm going to do is come in here to the FBX, open it up, and just looking at the animated channels up here in the upper right, I'm going to go down until I see the one that is the rotate has all these rotation values and translation values. And that's the one where I'm going to simply say, choose head rotation node, click on that button, and then connect head rotation. And before you do anything else, just give it another bit of a run through in the timeline to make sure that it's working. Okay, that's connected. And the next thing, of course, is just to hit connect. And it takes a little longer, but it does read in all the facial shapes. And you want to give that, again, a validation every time you do an exercise like this. And the last thing you might want to do, just to double plus prove it, is read in the audio. Um, so in this case, I've got a little audio file that came over along with the FBX. And cut your timeline down. And as a final little litmus test, you get to watch and listen to the worst Christopher Walken impression in the world. Oh, hey, it's Cowboy Joe here to show you just how easy facial mocap can be. You can idle or run or even be walking. Baby! Okay, so that's thoroughly embarrassing, and I thought I'd post that on the internet. All right, hope that helps.